I promised to get back to moment estimates. But you can say the structure here is to get moments. Typically, when we have processes that are driven by white noise, the Gaussian white noise, what we look at is the what are the second order moments. Because if you know the second order moments, the mean, the variance, the covariance, then we know what the process is. And then we just have to figure out what are the parameters in there. So we should find theoretical expressions in the given structure for the autocorrelation and or autocovariance as part of the parameters. And then we should calculate the, say, autocorrelation function and use that to estimate with the nose number of lags that are, can be used. So you have three equations, you need three elements, and so forth. This is, in general, complicated. And I think that's one thing. I don't mind things being complicated. But what is worse, I think, is that the general properties of this estimator are generally unknown. There is, however, one exception, and that's for a pure autoaggressive process where you can use the moment estimates. So given the autocorrelation structure of the data, data, then you can estimate the parameters in a pure AR model by solving this set of equations named the dual walk equation. In R, you have the function AR that's per default uses the dual walk equations to get an estimate, but remember, the properties are not as well established and well documented as when you use, say, the least squares estimator or the maximum likelihood estimator. So let me just give you an example of how this works. So what I will do is I will simulate first an AR2 process. Then I will first just plot the data as it looks like over here. Not so much to say about it. I'll plot the autocorrelation function. And what you can see here is a damped exponential wave here. And if I plot the partial autocorrelation function, well, then you can see that there's something significant like 1 and like 2. And then there is some noise out here. Some, A couple of them are just significant. Now, if I were to use a Rima that I've used early on that uses the maximum likelihood method, I can estimate an AR2 model the following way. And what I get are the coefficients. I also get an intercept that I do not actually want. But we can also just make a quick recap of what is significant, what is not. You have the standard error as a second line here. So here, the AR coefficient is much greater than two times the standard error. Likewise, for the AR2, but the intercept is actually, the estimated intercept is less than the standard error of that. Now, if we do the AR1 call instead, what it gives me per default is that it will use the AIC criteria to select a model that is the best model. And it ends up giving me an AR14, simply because AIC to often has preference for greater models. So what I will just do now is that I will force it to not use such a large model. So you can say, what is the maximum order? And I'll just use two to make sure that I get something that I can use. And now I've got coefficients 0.74 and minus 0.06. And the true values were 0.8 and 0.6. Now, there's one big difference between this estimate and the one I got from the ARIMA function. Uh, here, I don't get an estimate of the uncertainty. So of course, I could do stuff to get around that. But I do indeed prefer here that I get it per default. No questions asked. I just have it. So that's one. I think for me, the main reason why I prefer to use the ARIMA function. And I should, of course, also, because the AR did not have the mean value, then I should also
remove it off here to be fair. And let's just see what the estimates are. And you can also see that here I get minus 0.62. And well, except for rounding, you get the same value, but it's not the same estimate. Likewise, for the AR1 coefficient, they are also numerically a little bit different. Not a whole lot, so you can use them, but I think the hardest part I said before is that the properties of the moment estimates are not as documented as they are for the um, <coughs> Arima model maximum likelihood estimates.